Today we'll be cooking potato corn chowder for a total of 30 minutes yielding 4 servings. Make sure to appropriately wash your hands in all cooking equipment. This recipe calls for 9 ingredients, an onion, olive oil, chicken broth, potatoes, canned corn, milk, flour, and salt and pepper. First, in a large saucepan, cook and stir in half an onion and half a tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat until tender and translucent. Add one cup of chicken broth and one potato cubed and bring to a boil. There should be a good rate of air bubbles rising to the surface. Reduce the heat, cover the pan, and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. Simmering is an example of convection in this recipe, where the liquid moves in currents through and around the food as heat is transferred. Conduction is another method of heat transfer, where heat flows directly from the stove to the pan, and the food on the pan is similarly heated when in direct contact with the pan. It's important to fully cook the potatoes because they are prone to bacterial growth due to their high moisture content and their slightly acidic pH, which is ideal for microorganism growth that can lead to foodborne illness. Stir in half a can of corn. Stir in a quarter cup of milk and season with salt and pepper. In a small bowl, whisk two tablespoons of flour and another quarter cup of milk until smooth. The flour and milk mixture serve as a thickening agent to make the soup into a chowder. The starch in flour works by irreversibly absorbing water into the individual starch grains, causing them to swell. Heat is required as a catalyst for gelatinization to occur. Stir this mixture into the soup and return to a boil. Cook and stir for two to three minutes or until thickened. A method for storing the chowder is to pour it into several containers and let it cool to room temperature, then refrigerate up to three days.